Okay, so thanks for everyone that's followed along with this build and all your great suggestions. We are in the air. And I'll show you some of the tweaks I made in just a minute. You'll see there's a little bit of oscillation, but this multi we is just for the default settings. I mean, I'm just hovering right in front of the camera. It's pretty dialed in. There's a little, you'll notice there's a little bit, I'll let off the stick. There's a little bit of right yaw, but that should be an easy tweak. If this thing flies, great. But it's gonna be a fun little quad to fly. So the number one problem and probably two weeks setback with this build is just the amount of time I fidgeted with these high power motors and instead went with these Turnigy 2900 kV motors and they've made all the difference in the world. And a lot of problems that I thought I was having with the multi wee board were actually related to this motor. And since the last update, here's the original a frame design without the electronics. I went ahead and did just a, a simpler design, smaller, uh, shortened these arms about half an inch so they're three and a half inches long. There's quite a bit of difference in size. So just scale down uh, the overall footprint of this quad build. And what I'm going to be doing next is really working to dial in the multi we I mean it's pretty good just uh, out of the box with the straight configuration. I'm really impressed. And then I'll also be working on uh, just lightening this up a little bit. Right now the, the entire all-up weight is about 220 grams. So there are a lot of things like these bullet connectors, zip ties, uh, different components that I could really kind of scale back and, and reduce the overall weight. And as you can see I have zip ties holding these guys on just because I don't have the proper bolts yet, but I'm getting to that. And next I will be putting the APM on here. I'm really excited about just seeing how that performs. I'll see if we can do a little loiter and maybe waypoint navigation. Also want to figure out roughly what the flight time is. And I'll be doing a follow-up that shows kind of the breakdown of all the different parts and cost, as well as publish the uh, 3D design so that if you want to print it, you're more than welcome to or feel free to tweak it. And in the next design I'll probably get rid of these wooden booms. And that was a suggestion from Zookie. His YouTube username is ZWCKY101. It's been giving me a lot of great tips, suggestions on 3D design, but you know my intent was something that's cheap and easy to print. These things are really easy to print and if something breaks you know you can go just print a new uh, mount or plate without having to go and print an entirely new frame. Let me point out one other tip that I found really useful. Now you'll notice when I arm the board my props don't spin. You know I don't have that idle prop rotation and so I want I intentionally wanted to get rid of that and if you want to do the same there is a motor underscore stop parameter in config.h and you can just uncomment that, compile and upload and then you will get the behavior where when you're armed your motors don't spin and when you want them to spin they will. So that's useful for me. So I can't thank you guys enough for all of your attention, suggestions and as a way to return the favor I'll post the entire build log and like I said the design files and all of that so that if you want to build something like this you're more than welcome to. It's really a fun little quad to fly and this multi we is just blowing my mind for such a cheap board. In the next update hopefully we'll have the APM on here and be able to mess around with it a little bit. But until then feel free to post any questions or comments and thank you for following along.